hey everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video i'm sitting in a different room in the house as you can see you can probably see where i'm sitting when you know you know um and it is the 31st of december today so it's literally day 365 of 365 of 2021 okay i thought this would be a great day to film videos where i'm reflecting on the past year but also at the same time planning for the year ahead and there's certain videos that work well with that and the one that i'm going to be filming today is one that i initially saw on sharon's blog sharon is this is s um from kenya i used to follow her blog before i followed her on youtube and um, I used to see that she would do these monthly taking stock uh, segments and I think when I had my blog I did a few of them but typically um, I don't have the blog anymore I've just got too much going on for me to even maintain a blog at this stage in my life so I wanted to do I, I won't do them as often as she does them but I thought that for the period of the year that we are in right now it would be a great video to close off the year in terms of what I'm thinking what I'm hearing seeing planning what's going on in my life at the moment and uh, the taking stock videos are great because then you just have one word and then you associate you finish off the sentence like what are you enjoying at the moment or what are you hearing or what are you eating drink whatever um but uh, yeah i thought it would be a great video to round off the uh year and along with some other ones like 21 things i've learned in 2021 all that kind of stuff so this is the last video that i'm filming the previous video that i'd filmed is an unboxing that's why I just decided to stay here and film this. So if you're keen on seeing this, please do keep watching. Sharon also does quite a few of them. Um, I don't know, I'll link her channel down below, but I'm pretty sure you all know who Sharon is. She's got quite a large following. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy her channel and I thought that I would do this one too. Is okay. making. Now I'm making plans and decisions for what I want to achieve and um, work on in the first quarter of 2022. So the plans are like plans of what to do, where to go, how to arrange myself in terms of productivity in 2022. That is what I am making. Those are the plans because yeah, I feel like it's that time of the year where you're not only reflecting on the previous year before, but you're also getting things in motion for the following year, for the next year, which starts tomorrow. Cooking. Nothing. <laughs> As you can tell right now, I'm not cooking, but um, if I would use it hypothetically, I would say cooking up some ideas for her story, cooking up some ideas for Jessica Cleo. Just really got a lot of planning and stuff going on in my head. Really, really excited for that. Conveniently, the next one is drinking. I am drinking a green smoothie. I'm not feeling the best today. Um, I haven't been feeling the best. I've got flu and maybe you might pick up the nasally part in my nose and all of that. But uh, I've got flu, so I'm drinking. The only way that I can get food in is to blend it. So this is my breakfast. It's quarter to two. This is my breakfast. This is what I'm going to have right now. And probably take meds and go to bed. Or crash on the couch. The next one is reading. I'm currently reading two books. This one I've spoken about on my channel. This is Flowers on the Moon by Billy. This is Flowers on the Moon by Billy Chapata. And it's great. It's little phrases and proses on just uh, healing life, love, um, grief, loss, uh, self-love, the self-journey, the journey to self. I really, really love this. And then the novel that I'm currently reading is this one. I'm literally only 10 pages in. Yep. 12 pages in. Uh, I started it a couple of days ago and then fell off because I got sick and um, I really just didn't want to read. I wanted to uh, sleep all day. But definitely going to jump into it today. I do feel a bit better, but definitely going to do some reading. This is The Inheritance of Orcadia Divina by Zoraida Cordova. The cover is just stunning. 
stunning. Um, love it, love it so much, and it follows the life of the Montoyas. And Orcadia Davina is um, one of the matriarchs of the Montoya family. And she, this is more on a magical realism spectrum where she is about to die. She knows exactly when she's going to die. She's got like powers. She's just, she seems like this person, you know, she moves into a town, moves into a house where the land is barren. But as soon as she's in there within a week, the land is green, lush, beautiful. She's painted. So there's a lot of magical realism in this, but she calls over her family. Uh, because she wants to see them and speak to them before she dies and that obviously opens a uh, door in which uh, we follow her life uh, in Ecuador from when she grew up her family family dynamics that kind of thing so it really is exciting for me can't wait to get into this one the writing is quite different but um, nothing too hard or anything but I can't wait to get into this one wanting i am currently wanting to get out of the country <laughs> i'm wanting not really get out the country um uh, i'm wanting to take a trip i have the i've cancelled two of the trips that i was supposed to take in december uh because covid basically in a nutshell but also it's just it really isn't nice to travel when um all of this is going on uh, Omarion is going on and the Panasonic and all of that so I just decided to I know that we're gonna have it it's gonna be here for a while but I kind of decided that I want to move my trips to January uh, because it's a lot quieter people are back from the coast people are back from holidays that is the time my sock just came off sorry that is the time where I feel like I want to go away when it's a lot quieter uh, so my partner and I have been talking about going away in January uh, Potentially with my sister and her partner as well, but we, we will we're gonna we're gonna work on that uh, Yeah, so I'm really wanting to get out of my house and actually sleep somewhere for a couple of nights Where I don't have to worry about making the bed or making food or whatever I Can't wait, can't wait, but I'll wait for January for that one Looking looking forward to 2022 as much as i walk into 2022 very apprehensive very nervous very hesitant with everything that's going on um it's the unknown right so you don't know what to expect you don't know where you'll be a year from now right uh, but i am looking forward to 2022 i'm looking forward for uh looking forward to new chances um possibilities um opportunities just looking forward to trying again and um yeah just just something new you know something new not borrowed <laughs> but i'm looking really really forward to 2022 because uh 2021 was not it it was not it for me so bring on 2022 and my word for 2022 is breakthrough because I am manifesting that 2022 will be a great year for me. I'm praying on it. I'm speaking it into the universe. It will be a great year in terms of work, in terms of family life, in terms of personal life, in terms of content creation. It will be a great year. So I'm really, really looking forward to 2022. Smile. Ooh. 2022. Um, deciding, deciding on what to do with my hair. I just don't know i'm at the point where i'm just like do i cut it again to how my hair used to look like no hair on the sides and just up top do i grow it it's at a very awkward stage in its life right now i don't know what to do with it i love the color and i know i get asked about uh, my hair color a lot i don't know what my hair color is i honestly don't because i go to the barber shop and they do it it's an, uh, but I, I'm pretty sure it's an Inecto color, caramel or something like that. Uh, but I saw the box is Inecto, so I don't know if it's honey caramel, honey something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I'm deciding on what to do with this because this mop that's on my head is just really not for me at this point. Some days I like it. Like I can look at myself in the mirror. Some days I like it, um, other days I'm just like, I'm so annoyed with you, I'm over you. 
uh, but today is one of those days where I, I'm okay with it because I've styled it a little bit put in some curling cream in it and stuff so it looks okay but I'm deciding really what to do with it uh, wishing wishing for more time to do things that I love with the people that I love in 2022 as opposed to being stuck with constantly having to work. Wishing that 2022 would bring more relaxed time, you know, good energy, good vibes, moments with uh, family, friends, where I'm just not working. I spend a lot of my time working. If I am not at work, I'm producing work content, right? If I'm not doing that, I am producing more content. If I'm not doing that, I'm constantly doing something. I hardly ever get a chance to rest. It, in December, I was putting up content like mad. So um, there's that as well. So for the most part, uh, <laughs> I, I don't, yeah, I'm wishing that 2022 presents a good year for me to uh, enjoy with my family and the people that I am close to. I, I wish that it brings a whole new, you know, just a new perspective on uh, just spending time and stillness and spending time with um, family, friends, feeding my wellness like that. That's what I'm wishing for in 2020. Uh, enjoying. Mm. I'm currently enjoying um, the K-dramas. I watch those a lot. I'm currently re-watching Mine, which is a K-drama. I've recently started Vincenzo. I've, I was sick over the last couple of days. I really haven't done anything. Today is the 31st of December and I'm gonna be spending it alone because I am not well. I do not want to expose my friends to even the flu because I know it's the flu. Um, um, I just don't even want to expose any of my friends to that. Uh, so I'm spending 2021 by myself and I'm actually looking forward to it. I want to pray a little bit. I want to um, at midnight, uh, but also I want to just, you know, reflect, pause, think for a, for a moment, plan. Uh, my boss planner came in. I'll put a picture of it here. It came in yesterday, bought one for myself and my sister because my sister got me some awesome gifts. Okay, you'll see the video. Uh, but I bought her a boss, boss planner because she goes on and on about how she doesn't have a planner to write things down. Yeah, I'm enjoying a bunch of K-dramas. Um, I'm enjoying the time off of work, even though I am also working with content. Uh, but yeah, I'm enjoying the, the relaxing period of my life right um, now. Waiting. I'm waiting for my partner to come back from home. I find myself waiting, waiting, waiting a lot. We speak a lot, um, but he's at home uh, visiting his mom. So this is one of the reasons why I'm spending 2021, end of 2021 by myself, but it's fine. Um, yeah, so I find myself in this period where I'm waiting and waiting and dishing out so many I miss you. So. But uh, yeah, waiting on the task change. <laughs> Liking. Liking, no, it's not loving. Okay, okay, we still had like. Liking the fact that I've been very intentional with myself in 2021. I like the fact that I like and love me enough uh, to be very intentional, which is what I did in 2021. Um, if it wasn't good for me, then it wasn't for me. I would, you know, walk away from situations that didn't benefit me. If it wasn't, um, I was just more intentional who, uh, with myself. If I wasn't feeling well, I treated myself. If I wasn't, you know, I romanticized my life. I like the fact that I've romanticized my life. I take pride and pleasure in drawing happiness from the smallest of things like making myself a cup of tea or um you know just you know de like decorating my food and cooking my food with love and um passion and actually enjoying it and sleeping in fresh sheets and and feeling how that feels against my skin 
I'm liking the fact that I've become very intentional with myself and my senses have been heightened quite a bit with uh, looking after myself. So yeah, I like that about me. And I did that a lot in 2021. I listened to myself. If I didn't want to do it, I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to do it. Uh, wondering. Uh, I think I'm wondering, it's the reflectiveness of it all, right? I'm wondering if uh, the new year is going to bring good, bad. I'm wondering how it's all going to play out. I'm, I'm, like I said earlier on, a bit apprehensive. <coughs> Excuse me, a little bit apprehensive. But I'm just really wondering on how it's all going to play out. And if, you know, uh, I don't know. You always wonder a lot about the unknown and you wonder how things are gonna be and all of that and yeah I find myself really in my head wondering and thinking about that kind of stuff and um, kind of excited about it kind of excited loving um, loving the fact that I expressed a lot of gratitude this year I was thankful. I'm loving the fact that I drew myself closer to God in my faith this year, in 2021, as I record this. Um, I'm loving the fact that I was, you know, I was just so intentional with looking after myself, sharing bits of myself in terms of mental health in a way that could potentially help someone. Um, I love the fact, I've been loving the fact that um, I chose me quite a lot this year. Um, and if I wasn't happy about something or if I wasn't happy with someone that I would choose myself and I wouldn't drown in, you know, the people pleasing part of me. Um, also loving just, just reading and, you know, just those small little things. I, I'm loving that. But more than anything, I love the fact that I chose me this year. Um... I chose to do me this year in 2021 as I record this. Uh, yeah. Watching. Right now I'm not watching anything as you can tell. But what I am currently watching. As I said earlier on the K-dramas. Really, really enjoying the K-dramas. Uh, I'm re-watching The Office. <laughs> uh, my partner and I love The Office. I'm re-watching The Office. Also re-watching Family Guy. Um... Ugh. Yeah, I don't I don't know what else. I'm watching Khomu the Wife on Showmax. I have very strong opinions about that show. Um, as someone who's read the book. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but yes, we don't ever expect the the production, the visual production to be on the scale of the books, but I feel like I don't know. I feel like in, in the show it's more about the Zulu brothers than it is about Khomu and in the book it's all about Khomu so it's kind of hard for me to reconcile the two uh, it's shot really nicely I love how it's shot but yeah watching The Wife really considering watching Game of Thrones again but uh, whew, that's a lot that's a lot but yeah pretty much that's it I'm watching a bit of Netflix here and there movies, series, uh, stand-ups and all of that little bit dabbling in a little bit of everything a little bit of everything hoping for success in 2022 hoping for success in love in family relationships successful ones uh fruitful ones um hoping that i don't lose the spirit of practicing gratitude in my life every day um well hoping on a lot man but just I, I really put a lot of hope and faith into a successful, prosperous uh, 2022. Genuinely, truly how I feel. <laughs> Needing, need some TLC, cha. Woo! Cha, I need some TLC. Uh, I haven't had TLC in a minute. So I need me some TLC. Honestly, that's all I need right now. And I'm glad that TLC isn't around because I'm sick. So I wouldn't be able to do TLC. Anyway, <laughs> smelling um, a candle. I've got a candle burning on the side here, on top of this uh, desk here. And it is from At Home. Bought it a while ago. 
probably even well over a year ago I just keep candles so I always pick between and uh, that one is burning and it smells really nice I'm smelling scents of um, bergamot and uh, like a citrusy kind of scent it's really really nice it's really really nice love it love it um, also smelling my perfume on this uh, this shirt the last time I wore it I don't wash everything after wearing it only once this one I think I wore for like an hour or so the last time I wore it so I folded it up and I put it away but I can smell the perfume that I had on the shirt that day was Narciso Rodriguez her those are the things that I can smell right wearing now. my friend's t-shirt and some ooh, yeah. some track pants and some socks that's pretty much what I'm wearing because it's just sitting in the house that's pretty much what I'm wearing noticing <clears throat> that working hard doesn't always equate to making money I'm not I'm starting to notice that you can work however hard you want you can grind until 3 a.m. every single day and be up at 5 a.m. working hard doesn't necessarily mean you will reap the rewards in a monetary value in fact 2021 has taught me to work smart you kind of have to work smart you need to think about <clears throat> what works what doesn't work and once you tap into what does work and it starts making money for you or returning in rewards or returning rewards your way and um, all of that then you will have tapped into uh, working smart because then you know so you don't have to work until three o'clock every day in fact some days you can work just two hours in that day but when you work smart you know so you've tapped into a, 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 a different part of you and that's what I've learned in terms of um, noticed rather knowing that it's okay to make mistakes um, and no one is perfect knowing that at the end of the day that's all it is like it's okay it's okay to make mistakes no one's perfect let's let's you know move on um i'm gonna skip some of these because wow there's a lot to do giggling giggling at <laughs> the first thing that came into mind is giggling at how things change how life is so wild because I had a little bit of a chuckle about this a couple of days ago where I was thinking I entered into 2021 so in terms of my personal life so heartbroken and just sad and um, praying that my sadness wasn't reflecting online I was just so sad and felt many times that I wasn't worthy and now I'm, I giggle at that fact because the end of 2021 and I am at my most happiest in terms of um, just personally in my personal life and it gives me a bit of a chuckle because it wasn't with who I thought it would be you know that the happy you know it was a little bit of a shock um, when it happened <laughs> Um, feeling sick, tired, feeling very, very tired. My body hurts um, from coughing, especially this area of my body hurts quite a bit from coughing. Um, just feeling tired and drained, really, really tired in the sense that, guys, I spent <laughs> a large part of, portion of December filming content for you guys. So I'm really starting to feel tired, drained, wiped out. The fatigue has hit me. But on top of that, I'm not feeling well. So I'm feeling sick. So that kind of sucks. Buying nothing. <laughs> I'm not buying anything. Last things I bought for 2021 are the boss planners for my sister and I. I'm not going to buy anything else until, I don't know. Is today the 31st? Oh my God, today is wiling. Guys, I think I was supposed to do something and I didn't do it. <laughs> um, getting, getting sick and tired of Omarion. I'm literally at this point getting sick and tired of this Panasonic. How about that? 
catch me outside. I'm really getting sick and tired of it. Yeah. Anyway, that's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you soon in the next video. Have a great 2022. Be blessed, be calm, be still, work. Prosperity to you and to your families. Love and success too. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Mwah.